This audio fanfic is rated T, which is the same as a movie rating of PG-13. Parental guidance recommended for all children under 13. This should be suitable for teenagers and adults. For more information on what the rating means, please go to www.esrb.com. Chapter 1. Oh wait, it doesn't work. She didn't know what to do. What was she going to tell her friends? How was she ever going to look them in the face again? Never in her life had she felt so terrible. She had just been reading him a story, his favorite story, one of the adventures in the Journal of Impossible Things. And those stupid aliens came and abducted him. What did they want with him anyway? He was a normal human baby. Nothing special about him that would catch their eye. It just didn't make any sense. Finally, she stood up and headed to the phone. She was going to call her best friend and tell her that her child was gone. Just as she grabbed the phone, she heard it. That wonderful sound she had heard so many times. The sound of salvation. She ran outside and saw that beautiful blue box she had only seen in drawings and heard stories about. And what stories they were. She rushed over to it just in time to see a man that, in appearance, didn't seem to be much older than her. But she of all people knew appearances weren't what they seemed. He was wearing that bow tie he was famous for, and she had to fight back a laugh when she pictured him in a fez. She straightened up when she remembered what it was she needed from him. Doctor? She called him, and he turned at the sound of his name. Yes, hello, that's me. Sorry, have we met? He asked, clearly confused. Nope, never. I know who you are, though, and I need your help. Well, if you know who I am, why don't you tell me where we are? He asked, looking around, trying to get a handle on his surroundings. He thought he had landed in Wales, but she had an American accent. That just didn't fit. We're in Cardiff, May 7th, 2013. Now listen, I was babysitting, and they took him. It was horrible. She tried to get his attention back to the matter at hand. Kidnapping? Why do you need me? Call the police. He shrugged. What could he do about a kidnapping? But more importantly... How did this woman know who he was? <laughs> like the police could help me, she replied doubtfully. Why not? Kidnapping. They handle this all the time. I highly doubt police in 21st century Cardiff will be able to take on Centaurans. But if you'd like to see, we could call them in this lovely police box. She went to the front of the box and opened the phone latch and pretended she was about to make a call on it. Oh wait, it doesn't work. She angrily slammed the phone back down and closed the latch. She then felt guilty for being so violent with the TARDIS and apologized and stroked it. What do Sontarans want with a human baby? That just wasn't normal. And why was this woman stroking the TARDIS? And how did she know about Sontarans? And she referred to the 21st century as if she had been from, or at least visited, another. Your guess is as good as mine. But if we don't find out fast, Alfie could be in a lot of trouble. Alfie? Now why did that name sound familiar? She smirked. Yep, yep, yep. finally, finally got, his got, his got his attention. attention. Yeah, Alfie Owens. But I think you know him better as Stormageddon, Dark Lord of All. <laughs>